people in the court say, well, what is it that you want? They don't know. Because they've never been told what it is that they wanted. They've been told what they ought to want. And so they start living in a lifestyle that's comfortable to their emotions. It goes that way. And their parents say, you ought to live that way. And other people say, you ought to live that way. And they are in a state of conflict. But our society says, you've been married twice. There's something wrong with you. And everybody feels shocked. Society makes them sick if they don't conform to their fucking patterns. And their patterns are senseless. That's what we say here. This society is utterly insane. And if you're trying to make sense of it, you get sick. The best thing to do is get out your notebook, look out the window, make notes, and put it back in your pocket. But don't make any adjustments to it. Think? So when somebody says they don't like your painting, you say, that's fine. But don't argue with them, and you get sick. Okay? Now, it's when you begin to think that you're ill because you don't fit in with anything. You're on the fringe of sanity. And when you begin to fit in, you've lost it. When you fit in with the way things are going, you've lost it. You're out of step. Being alive is subject to stimulus, change, and conforming to a standard pattern is death. Now, if you experiment and seek out newer and different ways of thinking, you're going to get hurt because you're experimenting. This guy builds a little single man helicopter and the blade shakes the pieces and he breaks his arm. Experimentation means unknown areas. That's why most people don't experiment. So if you experiment, you get hurt. That's why most people say, well, now, wait a while. I tried all those things when I was crazy, when I was young. But now I've settled down. I don't try anything anymore. That's safe. So most normal people consider themselves safe. If you are going to live in this world, we cannot take into account everything. We can't handle everything. We can only handle a limited amount of things. And if you hope that things will get better for you, you can be certain that they won't. Anyone that hopes that things will get better is a guarantee that they won't. But if you take on an action pattern to make it better, to carve a propeller, to balance the goddamn thing, to try to check your landing gear, make sure your dihedral is uniform, your tail isn't warped. That's the way you make things better. In this world, you can't find peace and harmony. All those are words that were made up. Peace of mind. You'll find a smooth life for a period of time. The smoothest life you can find is to understand all these things. Whatever happens out there is real. What you think should have happened is unreal. You learn to sit back and watch all these things. And you tell people things, if they get the message, they take it and use it. If they don't get it, they drop it. You watch them go. And when they trip and fall, you watch them come. But you should deliver what you know to these people as best you can to help them see the light. Okay? All right. Now, so much for decency and ethics and fair play.